If you're joining from the previous podcast, I apologize for the end there. Only slightly. I have regrouped. <laughs> a little bit passionate, just a little bit. Should have worn my f Marxist feminist dialectic brings all the boys to the yard shirt. Yes, me P. What? It's colder in this room, yeah? You wouldn't like it in here. Okay, so this is a show about cross stitch. And my second cup of coffee could not taste better. Alrighty, so let's jump on in. It's been a little while. I explained why in the previous po in my previous podcast. Don't really want to get into it except to say dog sick, cat sick, fridge broke, election. Done. Have my little political rant in the other podcast. You're more than welcome to go watch it if you want, if you don't want. I wish I was as brave as some of the people who are just like, Mer. but I am not. Uh, let us, where should we go? Let's start with the most recent because that appears to be on top. Hi, P. Yes, P. Oh, no. Mer. Watch out. Usually you don't come bug me till the end. Mer, do you need lovin's? She needs weapons. She needs weapons. Pray, pray, pee. Makes me happy. Cause she was very out of sorts before. Alrighty, so a lot of work, a lot of work, because I joined the Weekend Rush on the Cross Stitch Finish Line, or not the Weekend Rush, the Week Long Rush on Cross Stitch Finish Line, and I picked up Whimsy, who is my Bubble Fairy cat face, it's Quick Stitch, uh, artist is Carrie Hawks, on Heaven and Earth, picked her up, and I was like, I'm, I'm gonna do this. She's also part of my Year of Whips challenge, so it all fell into place, and I was really feeling the vibe of full coverage. Don't ask me why. So, boom! Boom, baby! I have finished basically two columns since the last time you saw her. I finished a column this week and a column previously. So she has an eyeball and a little cheek, and you can see her whiskers. I wondered how her whiskers would turn out, but they do actually show and there's her ear and up here is the start of her um, antennae so she has an eyeball and a mouth and an ear and I'm excited I have how many, two more columns before I hit a page finish subsequently she may get moved up to being uh, more, more heavily in my rotation because I'm really enjoying the full coverage right now and come on, page finish? Page finish before the end of the year? That would be awesome. It'd be so awesome. And that would be like a year of whips challenge. Although if I held it off until the next year, I'm also in stitch from the stash because I, I am I am nothing but a sheep and Jesse Marie steered me over there and I was like, oh, I need this because it'll regulate my, my purchasing power <laughs> and I need to do that because I, I, I think I've hit maximum density where it's like, no, you need to kit, you have kit up projects, you need to start, you have stuff that's going on and if you have too many things going on, you start to get stressed out and I do. So I bought a daily planner for like monthly, a, a daily monthly planner. I'm organizing everything. I'm going to start participating in stitch alongs and I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about getting involved. Uh, well whilst the hubby is not around because it gives me something to focus on aside from just dying 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 Which is something to focus on except I couldn't when everybody was sick and then my fridge was broken And you can't do anything when you can't get in your kitchen anywho subsequently sucked Now the other thing that has seen a fair bit of work, which I'm really excited about 
and hopefully mom is not watching although she's so busy these days actually she's traveling for work so she's probably not going to watch which is great because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to give this to her as a Christmas gift I think I'm going to like mount and frame it myself and then give it to her is the red and the black by Prairie Moon and that is how far I've gotten so I got quite a bit done as you can see it's quite a bit further I'm actually like maybe like okay you see over here this little black line here I have to do that over here and then I'm at a page finish which is friggin the bomb however mom just booked her ticket to come visit and that's gonna be on um, she gets here on the 28th of November which is awesome I'm totally gonna take her back out to Issaquah to go to that store maybe get some stuff for my hubby's Christmas gift maybe maybe uh, so I want to have this finished by the time she comes and I probably can I will just have to put it at a higher priority maybe whimsy will be back seated because once I've finished the page, okay, so once I've finished the page, there's another one of these directly below it, and then there's a motif across the bottom and the other half of the thingamajig. Whimsy is on 14 count Ada. It was just a random scrap in a giant pile that I bought. And this is on 35 count Peeps Lost Sheep Linen, which I looked up is actually by Dames of the Needle, and I love this linen. I, I may have to like go I saw that on Stitching Bits and Bobs they have Dames of the Needle who all, who do this and the 35 count I may have to buy like a half, a half a yard I don't know I just I love working on this I love the depth I love the concentration of color it's just it's so hard to go to other things after you've worked on this because it's so pretty and then because I was feeling guilty was it guilt I don't know what would you call it? It wasn't guilt. Um, I was just feeling like I need to work on this because I really don't like working on this, but I really need to work on this. So I went back to my Once Upon a Time sampler, which I, is on 14 count oatmeal, I believe. And I, I think once I get past this one and into the next one, because it seems to me they alternate a little bit. It's the ones that have all the little one-offs that kind of get to me, like February really got to me. January not so much, March not so much, because there were blocks of color, but when there's like little one-offs, they bug me. So I am working on April, which is the Three Little Bear, Goldilocks and the Three Little Bears. Goldilocks is getting in there. I got the Z's in. These are the tops of mushrooms. But as you can see, I have to fill in like one or two or three on the mushrooms. I hate that. But it will be very pretty and very cute. And depending on when I get it done, I'll either save it for a rainy day or, you know, I don't know. If we chose to spawn, would this be too girly? Do I care? It's always, it would be good for a baby's room. It really would. So those are the things I've been working on. Um, pretty... Like I say, Whimsy got a lot of love because that was my weekly rush this week. I, um, I just, I really, you know, sometimes you, uh, be at a project or like, like I had a, a knitted hat that didn't turn out, but it like sucked me in and from, from dawn till dusk, I had to be on that project. Like Whimsy just sucked me in. I just really wanted to work on that. Um trying to be more organized so hopefully and so starting today if you're in the year of whips challenges on the soulful stitching Facebook group there is a challenge it is the first one it is 700 stitches on one of your least favorite year of whip whips and it was, it was a toss-up between doing uh, the once upon a time sampler or this guy and this guy is so old like he's like three years of hibernation so I decided on this one because I probably dislike it more because it's on black and can I do it without there you go it's very pretty um, my husband picked it out he wanted me to do it for him this is before he started uh, needle pointing it's called northern lights again very pretty 
just lots and lots of very similar colors on black and aside from the fact that like black is black and it, it's a bit of a beast to stitch on it also like collects cat hair like nobody's business so that's how much I've got and I am focusing on this for the weekend rush on cross stitch finish line and for the year of whips challenges 700 stitches in your least favorite whip because this is probably the most languished one this is probably the one I've got the most like meh attitude towards but I know that my husband's gonna love it and I really want to finish it for him so this guy is getting out this weekend I'm hoping to complete the 700 stitches so you have Friday Saturday and Sunday that's a lot of stitching but if I do get 700 stitches done I will feel very very proud of myself now if you look really closely there's a lot of tent stitching in the edges so I'm gonna have to be careful about how I count those because you have to have two to equal one but I am aware of that so I will be watching myself carefully there's an asinine amount of cross stitches it's just there are some tent stitches so I'm gonna have to make sure I modify my counting for that but that's my plan for this weekend aside from that it is Pokemon weekend Woo! and probably to celebrate Pokemon weekend I will be working on the epic Pokemon because Pokemon gets released today and while the husband is not here we pre-ordered ages ago so I will be going and picking those up after I'm done podcasting here because it is very important that I have them in the house to him they will of course wait until he gets home um, he will be home for Christmas holidays um, not exactly sure when but uh, I will have him home for a portion of the holiday period yes. wherein we will lounge around in our pajamas eat copious amounts of snacky foods and play Pokemon I can guarantee you like we are not grown-ups we, we do not adult and we will probably sit around in our pajamas in front of the fireplace snacking and playing Pokemon and that will be a very awesome Christmas gift so that is basically everything I have to report on the front of uh, cross stitch I let me double check here Stitch from Trash, Year of Whips Challenge, Cross Stitch Finish Line. Yep. That's basically everything I've been up to with cross stitching. I Life got in the way. Life got in the way. And hopefully life buggers off now because I have a lot of dying I want to get done before Small Business Saturday and Black Friday and Cyber Monday and blah, blah, blah. And hopefully all my babies are feeling better. I've got a pea sleeping in my lap. You cannot see her, but she is just like... We call it a ploaf or a plump when pee goes into a little loaf, like you know when cats loaf up, it's a ploaf because it's a pea loaf, or when she gets a, a, a pea ball or a pea nugget when she curls up, and yeah, we have all kinds of terminology for her. Or she likes to be plumped because when she's really cold, she wants you to throw her under the blanket on the bed so she can be a little lump in the blanket, so that's a plump or too plump, which is also a verb. But right now, she is just purring away and passed out. Little does she know, I have to get up and do stuff. Maybe if I give her food, she will let me. But she is all well now. She is, she is recovered, so. Right, me pee? Purr, purr, purr. Yeah, well, hopefully now that everything is out of the way, I will see everybody next week, and happy stitching. <laughs>